today I'm going to show you the fastest ways to find diamonds. After watching this entire video, you will be able to get over 890 diamonds per hour. That means that in less than two hours, you could have a full diamond block beacon. And I'm even going to show you how lapis can be used to find diamonds. The first method to finding diamonds is by going caving. Just go down to level 12 where there's lava, bring a water bucket, and if you get lucky, you might find some diamonds. But if that's not going so well, then your next option is dive mining. Just craft yourself a trap door, place it above where you want to mine, and then you will go into a crawling state and you can go mining like this. And the reason dive mining is better than strip mining is because one block reveals five new ones. It's also worth remembering that if you have a netherite or diamond pickaxe with efficiency on it, regular strip mining is better. And that is because the player crawls too slow slowly to be able to keep up with the faster pickaxes. And I forgot to say, you can also use a water bucket to go dive mining, just go like that and then you're away. And if you really want to take strip mining to the next level, then go to a cave that's about level 55 and then build a full beacon. Use the beacon to give yourself haste too and then dig down until you get to level 11. And now thanks to the haste, you can strip mine so, so fast. And once you mine 50 blocks away from the center of the beacon, you can just go across a few blocks like this and strip mine the other way. And with this method, you can get about a stack of diamonds per hour. But for me, that's that's still just too slow. If you prefer to, you can find diamonds just by exploring. They can be found in shipwrecks, mine shafts, desert temples, jungle temples, blacksmith chests, stronghold chests, in fortresses, at treasure bastions, end cities, and finally through buried treasure. If you want to find diamonds through exploration early game, then this is the method you should use. You should follow the map until you reach where the X is, and then go to 9-9 in the chunk, which is right here. Just dig straight down, you'll find it, and you'll find diamonds. But what if you prefer to not go exploring and to not go caving for your diamonds? Well, just craft yourself an iron axe and spend 10 minutes mining up trees. And once you've got yourself 10 stacks, go ahead and get a load of flint get yourself five pieces of iron and also a little bit of extra wood make yourself a bunch of fletching tables a blast furnace and track down a village then turn all your wood into sticks and turn it into emeralds once you've done that you'll have two and a half stacks of emeralds so place down the blast furnace and keep trading with this guy until you fully upgrade him then when he gets to expert level you can buy leggings and boots and then buy a few more of these cheap helmets and at master level you've got a diamond helmet and diamond chest plate that's basically getting 24 diamonds just for punching trees and now for the mathematical methods. These four ways are so overpowered that I'm not even sure that Mo Yang themselves know about these. And the first one is by using lapis. Now, what do you see when you see some lapis? You think, oh, that's nice. I'll mine it up and add it to my collection. When in reality, you already have millions of them back home. No, what you should actually think when you find lapis is, oh, cool, I've, I've found some diamonds. Because if from the lapis, you go negative four on the Z axis, which is right here, and then dig directly down, you will without a doubt come to diamonds. There you go. When I say without a doubt, it works about 9 out of 10 times. Sometimes lava can override it and sometimes dirt can. But yeah, anytime you find lapis, just go four blocks this way. And as you dig down, you will come to diamonds. And now for the third fastest method, which uses gravel and clay. By using this method, you can get over 180 diamonds per hour. Press F3G to turn on your chunk borders. That'll make it easier. Next, you need to find a gravel patch that's in a circular shape like this one. And from the center, go four blocks on the negative Z, which is right here. And then just dig straight down. And at the bottom, you will come to diamonds. And if you find a clay patch that isn't in a swamp, you need to go negative two. But you can see from the center here, we're going across a chunk border. So instead you go to the other side of the chunk, which means instead we need to dig down right here. And there you go, you've got diamonds at the bottom. And the third biome you can use this is in a swamp biome. And this is where there's the most clay so it's easiest to find loads of diamonds. Come to the center of a clay patch, go two in the positive Z direction and dig straight down. I will also write down all of these numbers down below in the description because they can be quite hard to remember. But there we go, we got the diamonds. Now the thing, the problem with this method is that it's quite slow in getting back up. Look, I've just got to tower my way back up. How can we make that way, way faster? Well, we can do that by using one very, very clever trick. And I'll tell you that trick in 10 seconds. But first, really, really quickly, I'm running a giveaway on my channel of $1,000 to anyone that subscribes in the next 10 days. So if you're new, make sure that you subscribe or get one of your friends to subscribe instead. And now for the trick to speed things up a lot. First, you're gonna need to get yourself some flint and also some iron. Then craft yourself some flint and steel and mine up some wood. Then you can turn all of that into blanks. And this time, whenever you start digging down to collect some diamonds, place the wood above your head, light it with some flint and steel, and then keep digging down. And once that piece of wood burns up, 
the water will float down and allowing you very quickly to swim back up to the top. That allows you to go from 180 diamonds per hour to 250. And that is a lot better, but what if you want a full beacon or a diamond block house on? 10,000 hoes. Well, in order to do that, we're gonna need a few upgrades. A helmet with Aqua Affinity and Respiration 3, an Elytra, and some Depth Strider boots. And also a stack of firework rockets, an Efficiency 5 shovel, and an Efficiency 5 Fortune 3 pickaxe. Now just go to your clay patch, go two across in the positive Z direction, and dig straight down. Thanks to the Aqua Affinity and the Respiration 3, the water is not slowing us down. Then when you get to the bottom, you'll get your diamonds, just go ahead and mine all of them up. The Fortune 3 meant we got 16 diamonds from 8 ores. And then when you go back up, activate your Elytra and you can fly really, really fast and then you can see the next clay patch very easily. And then you can just rinse and repeat and basically find diamonds every single minute. And if you don't want to use Elytra, you can just swim straight up. It's quite fast. It takes eight seconds to get to the top by swimming and three seconds with your Elytra. And as I said, if you keep doing this over and over again, you can get 895 diamonds per hour. And that's exactly how I managed to get a full diamond beacon in my hardcore world. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun getting really, really rich. Even if I still believe that diamonds are for peasants.